In my last video, I talk about the ego pretending to be the higher self, which is something that can happen. So let's break this down. While a lot of people may talk smack about our ego, about ego death and how to silence our ego, our ego is super important. And it's less about silencing the ego than it is about building a relationship with the ego. That's because the ego serves to give us a personality. It helps to make us identify as individuals in the world. But because that's its purpose, it can also shift into protecting us. Our ego wants to protect us. Our ego wants us to, yes, be individuals in the world, but also be wary about what's popping off around us. Because the ego serves to protect us and keep us safe from the world outside of us, when it becomes engaged, when we have to make a decision, when we have to react to something, our ego is front and center because it wants to make sure that we're good. And so what can happen is while we think we're tapping into our higher self, when we get the instinct to stay away from something or someone or go towards something or someone or just react to a certain situation in a certain way, we think it's because it's my higher self. I'm pulling cards. I'm meditating. I'm doing all these things. It's not always the case. Sometimes we've given so much leeway to our ego. We haven't gotten to understand our shadows, our traumas, the roots of who we are in a very clear way that our ego has the space to help us make decisions versus our soul having the space to make decisions or react in a certain way. In this case, we can be operating from our ego and not from a heart-centered soul space our ego pretending to be our higher self not because it's evil not because we need to separate ourselves from it but because it wants to protect us it wants to keep us safe so while most of us may be wanting to channel and tap into our higher self because that's how we're going to make aligned decisions our ego knows that so it's going to make us want to believe that that's where this decision is coming from i need to do this to protect myself this feels good to me it may not always be that so what do we do when you are needing to make a decision, when you are needing to react to something, someone in a certain way, which we are always are because we are always reacting to everything and everyone around us, park your ego. Take it out of the driver's seat, invite it to the back seat, acknowledge it, don't silence it, acknowledge that you know it wants to keep you safe, but you're able to make decisions from a heart-centered space because you are a divine being living this human experiences. You are always capable, you have all the answers.